Hey guys. MJ, how are you? Not too bad, Connor. How are you doing? Doing well. It's a beautiful day out. It is. Are you ready to answer 49 questions about yourself? I am. All right, we're going to start with an easy one. How long have you been taking photos? I would say about five or six years now. And yeah. what's your favorite subject to photograph? People, definitely. Yeah. yeah. People, weddings, events, concerts are pretty cool. Um, definitely people, though. <laughs> and what is your camera body preference? Canon, Nikon, Sony? Uh, Canon, definitely. Canon all the way. I use a Canon 5D Mark III. And what's your favorite lens to use on that Canon? My favorite lens? Um, I'd probably say the 70 to 200. Um, it kind of just fits my style of shooting. Um, I'm a little bit shyer. I don't like getting in people's faces too much. And I kind of find that like I get the best pictures when people don't know I'm taking a picture of them. Ooh, there you um, go, a little secret. Yeah. So what is uh, your favorite photo that you've ever taken? Oh, geez, ever taken. Um, probably one of my night off-camera flash photos. I really like setting those up. Um, it's different than what we shoot all throughout the day. Uh, definitely night shots, for sure, I would say. Other than that, I think, um, a lot of the cooler pictures I've taken are ones that I completely forgot that I took throughout the day. There and then they're go. like little gemstones that you find when you're calling your job out. And, little uh, surprises, like, right? Oh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Besides photography, what other art do you create in your free time? Um, I like to make a lot of crafts, a lot of like household DIY kind of projects. Um, I got really into macrame this past year. Um, I could knit and crochet. I like to draw sometimes. Um, yeah. So that kind of answers my next question, but you might have a different answer for it. Do you prefer to craft by hand or do you prefer digital design? Um, I, I like both equally and I, I try to like balance both of them out, I think. Like when I get sick of one, I switch to the other one. So you're always changing. Sure. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we're going to transition uh, a little bit into your wedding routine. What's your routine before you go and shoot a wedding? Um, before I go and shoot a wedding, um, I definitely make sure my batteries are charged. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty standard. Wake up, take a shower, eat some breakfast, make sure my, <laughs> my gear is all in my backpack. <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time with our timelines, um, making sure that I know everybody's names, you know, like their relationships with, with each other, um, cause that'll help me out throughout the day. Um, but, uh. Get yeah, yourself, just, get yourself nice and well prepared. Yeah, Thank generally like going over the, the flow of the day, what times things are supposed to happen at, and uh, names. And it's a long day when you're shooting a wedding. Do you bring any snacks? Uh, I should. Uh, most of the times I forget. Um, <laughs> and then like by the middle of the day, I'm like dry heaving. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, But I'd say uh, a lot of beef jerky, a lot of peanuts, a lot of small like things I could shovel in my mouth really quick when nobody's looking. Nice. Um, there you go. Because it's a busy yeah. day. You're always moving. You're constantly going. Definitely. And in, you, in that constant movement and that constant flow, what's your favorite part of a wedding to photograph? Um, definitely the wedding party photos and the bride and groom photos. I think that's um, our time to really be creative, um, really try new stuff. It's usually a smaller group than like what we're dealing with the, the entire day, especially when it comes down to just the bride and groom. Um, so it's a little more intimate? Yeah, more intimate. Um, we get to try a lot of cool things um, with smaller groups. And uh, I'd say that was my favorite part. Yeah, bride and groom photos. And do you have a favorite venue in the area to photograph at? Oh boy. Um, I really like Barnick Listening Pond. Um, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, really beautiful, there's lake. Um, definitely like that place. <laughs> and what is the hardest part of a wedding to capture? For me, um, not so much anymore, but I used to get a little bit nervous about family photos, um, especially if the couple has a large family. Um, it's kind of tough to wrangle that many people together and um, have them all looking at you, have them all paying attention. Um, one of the tougher things, I think, but uh, 
throughout the years, we kind of like came up with uh, lists and combinations and things to remember, and um, I got a lot better at it, I think. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and when uh, you're at Barnick Listening Pond or any other wedding, is there a certain uh, other wedding vendor that you enjoy working with and seeing when you're out? Um, I love the guys at 570. Um, let me think. Wedding vendors. I'll come back to that one. Come back to that one. There <laughs> yeah. you go. Perfect. And when you're, you know, you're in the thick of it, you're in the day, you've had your snacks. How do you decide what you're going to photograph when you're out moving around? Um, honestly, I have to look around you. All right. So we want to uh, learn a little bit more about you before you started oh, shooting. Yeah. Um, where did you go to high school? I went to Hazleton Area High School. Hazleton Area? Mm -hmm. And uh, what year did you graduate? Uh, geez, 2007. 2007? Mm -hmm. And after you finished high school in 2007, where did you uh, wind up going to college? Uh, Wilkes University. Wilkes University? Going, yep. And what did you graduate with? I graduated with a degree in Integrative Media. Um, I believe now it's called Digital Design and Media Art, but it was kind of a combination of graphic design, photography, videography, little website stuff. Um, little 3D, little animation stuff, a little bit of everything, digital. Big toolkit you got at college then, there you go. Yeah, That's awesome. It was, it was cool. Um, how do you apply that degree uh, to your current career? Do you have a current full-time job that you're at? I do, I'm currently working full-time for Benko Dental, um, and I do a little bit of all those things that I just described, actually. There you go, yeah, so you're well. using every, putting everything to use. Mm -hmm. And how did you wind up becoming a part of Not Just Any Day? Um, one of my closest friends uh, who used to work with us introduced me to Steve um, and I came on as a part-time editor, video editor, um, which got me into shooting more video. And then over time, um, as I got more comfortable with cameras and um, honestly more comfortable just being around people and taking people's pictures, um, I, I came on as a second shooter and then uh, a couple years later, a lead. And do you have any nicknames that you go by when you're uh, when you're at Not Just Any Day? Probably MJ. MJ, Mike, Michael. Yeah. And do you have any pets? I actually d just got some fish. There you go. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> yeah, I have a bait fish and a couple tetras. Um, I had a had to come up with some kind of hobby during this quarantine. You and, need a little company, right? Yeah, aquariums. I think was it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually uh, good that you mentioned the quarantine. Um, how has the quarantine affected work for you, whether it be at your full-time job or at Not Just Any Day? Uh, so my uh, full-time job, I'm partly furloughed, so I work one week. Um, one week I'm on, one week I'm off. Um, and uh, it's been a little tricky. So that definitely can be a little tricky. Do you have a daily routine for days that you're off or days that you don't have to leave the house? Um, that kind of keep you grounded throughout the day and throughout the week? Uh, in the beginning, I didn't. And I, it just seemed like every day was running into the next. And um, I really kind of needed to uh, come up with some kind of routine in myself just to feel a little bit normal. So now I wake up uh, around the same time that I would if I was going to my job, um, cook breakfast, put the news on. Um, maybe work on a personal project or some kind of craft. I've been doing a lot of cleaning for sure. There you go. <laughs> spring cleaning, I think a lot of people are now. Some spring cleaning and some home renovation seems to be the popular topics right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, still trying to cook dinner every day, go to bed at a normal time, um, go for walks, is get outside. Is there a place that you're looking forward to going when this is all said and done? Uh, concerts, I think. Like, I want to go to a show or I haven't seen any live music in a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. So uh, we had talked a little while ago and you had brought up the fact that you're a big gamer. Um, or do you prefer a PlayStation, Xbox, the PC or Nintendo? A uh, little bit of, well, not anymore PC, but I'd say PlayStation, PlayStation? nowadays. There yeah. you go, very nice. I am also a PlayStation person yeah. myself. What's your favorite video game of all time? World of Warcraft, for sure. Ooh, there you go. Not so much anymore because I, you need a lot of time. <laughs> fair. Also very fair. <laughs> but when I was younger, yeah, definitely. That so since you sucked haven't up played, a lot of my life. <laughs> <laughs> since you haven't played Warcraft uh, in a while, what's the game 
that you really enjoyed or what's a game that you really enjoyed that you most recently played? Um, currently, I'm actually playing uh, the new Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ooh. Um, as a kid, I was really into that whole series and um, one of my buddies was like, did you see they're making a new one? And I'm like, mm, no. But now I think it's like the perfect time to buy one since I'm not doing too much. Exactly. So <laughs> slide that right into the daily routine, right? Yeah, it is a really cool game. Nice. Super cool, yeah. And what is your favorite place to eat? Oh, good one. Um, I'd have to say Circles on the Square. I really miss it because uh, I'm working in Pittston now. Um, but when I was uh, working downtown at the studio every day, uh, that was my favorite lunch spot. Call ever. back to Steve's 49 questions. Yeah. There you go. Popular place. Definitely my favorite. So you have your sandwich from Circles and you just got home from work. What are you putting on Netflix to relax from the day? Oh, geez. Um, I honestly got after work, I watch a lot of like nature shows, cooking shows, science, Nova. Um, Nothing with like a crazy narrative that I have to pay too much attention to, <laughs> especially if it's right Just after some work. some light educational programming. Yeah, <laughs> stuff I could have on in the background. Um, I want to hear David Attenborough talk about little birds and like Morgan Freeman talk about the universe. Things that'll um, relax you. Yeah, I mean, on the weekends, um, I don't know, I kind of get into more like shows. I don't know. Um, Ozark, definitely. Ooh, that's a popular one right now, too. Um, been watching a really cool one um, that our friend and coworker Jimmy told me about called Dispatches from Elsewhere. I've never heard um, of it. It's on Amazon Prime. It's really, really cool. It's about an ARG, like an alternate reality game um, that people don't know that they're, they don't know what they're a part of. Pretty much. I've and seen a Black Mirror episode like that. I kind think it's it's very Black Mirror esque. That's another good one. I that like is a great one. <laughs> what is your uh, favorite band of all time? Oh geez, um, of all time, I've been listening to a lot of Steel Woozy lately. Steel Woozy. Yeah, I've not heard of them. That's not. <laughs> that's, I'm not a good music person. Um, so what is, we'll, tra we'll transition away from band. What's your favorite song right now? My favorite song, I don't know if I have one right now. That's <laughs> also fair. We might have to skip music. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll jump right back into uh, uh, TV and film. What's yeah. the last uh, movie that you saw? Um, probably Parasite, which was really cool. Was that good? Yeah, definitely. One of my favorites this year. I think it won a bunch of awards and stuff too. It did. I believe so. I believe you're right. And when you're watching your movies and your Netflix, are you a coffee or tea person? Coffee. Coffee? Definitely, yeah. I, that's another thing I miss about downtown. I miss being so close to Starbucks. So what Circles and Starbucks. Starbucks is right across from the studio. So easy to get a good cup of coffee. Not so much this, for me this anymore. Is, these are a lot of callbacks back to Steve. I can yeah. definitely see. <laughs> <laughs> And now that we are walking, it is a beautiful day out. Do you prefer to be walking or do you prefer to ride a bike or any other mode of being outside? Um, I use a skateboard a lot. Um, now I'm kind of scared because I got older. <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself. Um, I bought a bike about two and a half years ago and I ride it as much as I can. Love being able to just get on and go. And I used to ride it to work all the time. Ooh, um, there you go. But yeah, I'd say bike. Bike? Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna go uh, back a little bit into the photography realm, pull from some of your inspiration. Who's uh, your favorite photographer? Uh, Steve. Steve, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd have to come back. I know I have her, I have her in my face. I think her name might be Annie. Should we put it in the comment section below? Annie yeah. Leibovitz. Or in the description below? Annie Leibovitz. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> B big inspiration to uh, both me and Steve, I think, for sure. Honest to God, though, Steve did um, kind of teach me everything that I know, and I definitely pull a lot of my uh, a lot of my compositions from uh, his work. And what uh, what what was your first camera? Oh, geez, my first camera was a Canon Rebel T2i um, that I got when I was. To be like 16, 17 years old. Um, and I think we might have actually shot our very first KJAD wedding video with it <laughs> back in the go. day. And do you still have it? 
Ah, uh, my little brother has it now. Your little brother has mm -hmm. it, so it's getting put to good use. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so who um, supports your love of being an artist? Um, definitely my friends, my family, um, all of you guys. Um, and who inspires you to keep creating? Um, again, honest to God, my friends. Um, when I see um, my peers, my coworkers, my friends creating um, really cool stuff, it kind of motivates me to do the same. Awesome. And if I could do it with them, that's, that's even better. There you go. <laughs> and this one's a little bit of a heavy one, but okay. if you could describe your career thus far in one sentence. My career is very multifaceted. I try to wear as many hats as possible while um, creating cool content for our clients and hopefully making a lot of people happy. That's a great answer. So you're a photographer. How many photos are on your phone? You could guesstimate, you don't have to give oh me an exact God. number. Oh God, well, <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep deleting them every couple weeks because I get the little like, you don't have enough space left. So I, I think I have like a 64 gig iPhone wow. and it's probably all photos. Wow, <laughs> and how many of those photos are memes? Oh, half. <laughs> half. Half of those photos are memes, that's fantastic. <laughs> So um, what's, what's the next piece of gear that you're looking to buy? I mean, we're always growing and things are always happening. What's the next uh, piece of gear that you want to add to your collection? True, um, honest to God, uh, a macro lens. I've probably been saying this for years now, but um, it's the one piece of gear that uh, I don't have um, and that I usually have to borrow from Steve to shoot ring photos or real tight detail shots. Um, I use one at uh, my day job a lot to shoot products. Um, so I'm very familiar with it, uh, but I don't have my own, and it'd be cool to get one soon. <laughs> Are you looking to sell any gear? No, I think. Pretty happy with pretty what you good. got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could give uh, future KJAD couples one tip in planning their wedding, what would it be? Uh, do a first look, please. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> um, I think it just opens up their their whole day um, for more pictures. Um, Things happen at a more leisurely pace. I think you're not trying to cram a bulk of their bulk of their photos in a, like 40 minutes. You could kind of space it out throughout the day. Um, plus, like they, I, I feel like it, it calms them down more. Oh. Um, um, kind of gets the nerves out. They get to see their significant other before it happens, so they're not like. Point breaking down in front of a bunch of people. Maybe they want to do that, I don't know. But um, as from a photography standpoint, I think that it uh, really helps us and it really helps them. Wow. And they get some cool pictures out of it, for sure. What is the uh, next exciting thing going on in your life? Um, <laughs> I want to get back to work. There you go. <laughs> Definitely. That's fair. Um, kind of just getting back to the day-to-day -day and yeah. the normal. And Definitely, I want to get back to work. I want to see my friends again. Um, it's really cool that I get to see you guys right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this has been fun. Um, it's a beautiful day out. It's been nice, right? Yeah. So uh, we got two quick ones left for you. Okay. Um, professionally, outside of KJAD and outside of Banco, do you do uh, any freelance? Do you take photos um, of anything else, like landscapes or, or traveling or anything like that? Um, um, I used to a lot more. Um, when I wasn't uh, working full time, but I still like to shoot the occasional show for my friends or the occasional portrait session. Um, I've been asked to do some product photography here and there. Um, a lot of my freelance tends to be more on the graphic design uh, spectrum. Ooh. Flyers for shows, flyers for my friends, um, invitations, RSVPs, stuff like that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And um, where can people follow you? Um, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is MJ Gentle, and my Facebook, I'm on there as Michael John Gentle. Well, MJ, this has been a great walk. This has been a great time, uh, even getting to know you from my perspective. Of course. And uh, <laughs> I hope you had a good time. I did. Thanks so much for doing this, guys. That's Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you.